Brown Mouse and the Country Mouse A general fiction by Jolly Phonics The town mouse was going to visit his cousin, who lived in the country. That morning, he had found a truck at the market that was going to where his cousin lived. Now he was rattling along the lanes, hidden in the back of the truck. When he arrived, the town mouse was tired and sore. He clambered out of the truck and onto the ground. There you are, I've been waiting for you, cried his cousin, the country mouse. Come on, come on, let's get you home, he continued. The country mouse lived in a hole in the bank, hidden by a thorny bramble. Here we are, said the country mouse, and dived quickly into his hole. The town mouse started to follow him in. Ouch! he cried as he brushed against a thorn. The town mouse was scowling as he came in. You must be very hungry, said the country mouse. Help yourself. There is plenty of food. There were seeds, rose hips, nuts, a big dish of blackberries, and milk to drink. One evening, when the town mouse had been there for about a week, the two sat down for supper. Are these the only things you eat? said the town mouse. Every day, it is the same old food. In the town, we have something different every day, he boasted. I would not want to live in the country, he continued. The cows mew loudly all day. Then the owls hoot as soon as it is dark. It gets so dark by six o'clock that you cannot go outside. Why are there no street lights? <coughs> the country mouse frowned. I'm sorry, he started to say. No, I'm sorry said the town mouse. It is just that things are so different where I live. Come to the town with me, and you will see. No cows, no owls, and no scrabbling around looking for food. I have an enormous house to live in, too. So the next morning, the town mouse and the country mouse found a truck that was going to the town. They squeezed in between the crates in the back of the truck, and they munched on apples all the way there, while the town mouse told his cousin about life in the town. It was about two o'clock when they made their way to the big house, where the town mouse lived. Isn't it splendid? cried Tiny Town Mouse, pointing to it. The country mouse looked up at the tall house and nodded. They were just exploring one of the bedrooms when there was a loud growling noise. Run! shouted the town mouse. A big brown dog bounded into the room and started to chase them. They reached the mouse hole just in time. Let's go to the kitchen and get some food, said the town mouse. 
When they got there, the town mouse checked that all was safe. No, he shouted and ran quickly to the country mouse, who was just about to grab a big bit of cheese. He knocked the country mouse out of the way, just as the mouse trap crashed down. The town mouse and the country mouse sat down to eat. The country mouse was still trembling. There was bread, butter, cheeses, and lots more to eat. Now, this is a real feast said the town mouse with a smile. What would you like to eat? The country mouse was about to nod and agree with his cousin when he saw something prowling around the corner. A cat, a cat, he cried, look out. They scrambled down and made a dash for the mouse hole. They got there just before the cat. The country mouse was panting and shivering. That's it, he exclaimed. I'm going back to the country. At least you get your dinner there, whatever it is, without having to escape dogs, mouse traps, and cats. The next morning, the country mouse set off for the country. That evening, he found himself back in his little hole in the bank, hidden by brambles. He sat down, smiled, and made himself an enormous dinner. Then he settled down to sleep in his safe little bed. Hope you enjoyed the adventures of County Mouse and Town Mouse. Like, share, and subscribe to Arsel Academy for more educational content and exciting stories.